Hello everyone, welcome to Darcy Klein's Dual Bedini Monopole SSG Energizer Battery Charger, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, got my cat sitting here on my lap, we're going to have to get off kitty. Uh, anyway, just wanted to make a video to uh, maybe show those who are uh, making observations about what I'm doing and giving me advice a little bit more about what I've got set up anyway. Uh, quick overview in this video. Uh, two bifeller coils, 850 wraps each of uh, 23 power and 26 trigger magnet wire. I uh, just swapped out these uh, two M3055 transistors for MJL uh, 21194s. Got 1K pot still in place. Uh, been running actually an LED on one coil keep burning out the uh, 12 volt 25 milliamp bulbs seem to keep uh, burning them out by screwing up my uh, not having anything hooked up on the uh, secondary position and having a spike fry it so anyway you got to be really careful that's harmful for the transistors apparently uh, anyway uh, right now I know I'm probably really close to needing to swap this primary battery these are four and a half amp or 12 volt batteries and uh, right now the circuit is drawing um, this is hooked up into the negative side of the primary on uh, milliamps we're looking at 190 200 milliamps draw um, I've got four more of the identical batteries uh, four and a half amp hour 12 volts in the secondary position hooked together in parallel charging uh, so far I haven't been taking real readings. I, I haven't had the time and the, um, uh, the ability to be available to actually monitor this as well as I'd like to. So I haven't actually taken any uh, observations uh, down yet, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, but what I have been seeing is in my primary battery, um, you know, it, uh, I've been trying to swap them out at uh, about 12 uh, 0.1 volts, uh, no less, uh, if possible, and I've had a couple mishaps, but, uh, uh, and I've been holding in the secondary position for more than a couple days now, it's, uh, going on to my third day, uh, secondaries are, um, are actually holding at about 1.8, I think, I'll take, no, actually, I'll, I'll take a, uh, quick reading here, if I can, Maybe you can see this still. Uh, here's on the um, on the primary battery. Yeah, this is below where I should have already had it swapped. 12.03. Secondary banks are 12.80. Bang on. It's been there for quite a while. Um, I know this. Uh, we're not probably witnessing over unity yet uh, although I do think I've got a fairly efficient uh, motor going already my coils are spaced these two are spaced uh, half a position apart from each other so basically when one is passing the other one is in the middle uh, over here you've got I've got my A and B channel homemade oscilloscope probes and uh, I'll just get this thing fired up again to, so I want to show you I give it a pretty good spin there but um, that'll get it up to speed fast anyway over here on the computer look out kitty um, here is the um, oscilloscope this is multi in instrument uh, light 3.0 I'm running here uh, looks like it's coming to a normal speed here. Here's a single shot. Um, this is at 100 milliseconds. Actually, this is a little lower than uh, than what I expected to see. It's normally idles at a boat. If I take another shot, still getting actually it is still getting up to speed. Um, <coughs> Basically, what I'm, I think it's been running at about 180 RPMs. Um, it's, I've got 16 magnets on the wheel, and uh, at normal idle, it's been, I've been getting about five pulses 
per 100 milliseconds. Uh, here's another single shot. It's a bit below that at the moment, although I do think it's still getting up to speed. Um, so it would be about 180 RPMs. But since I swapped in the uh, the MJL 21194s and for the other transistors, uh, I'm seeing these triple and do, uh, double spikes, and I was only seeing that on the uh, 2N3055s at low RPM and at uh, near total discharge of the battery. I wasn't seeing that at uh, full RPM. I was only getting one pulse. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm seeing or how to interpret it, but I don't think that's a bad thing anyway. But uh, anyway, I've been having a lot of fun with this project, and uh, and I do hope to eventually uh, even hook it up to my uh, my uh, electrolyzers. I've got uh, three. Um, they're kind of Joe Cell style uh, energizers, and I've been getting some pretty good gas flow. Got a proper backflow valve now, uh, two liters per minute, um, that I'm confident with. <laughs> and um, but I, what I'd really like to do is start throwing some of this negative current into these cells. Um, yeah, I'm not really um, I'm not really confident yet in throwing that current in there at all yet because I do understand how the nature of the uh, of this negative energy is. Uh, gets a little tougher to use conventional uh, current afterwards so I, I want to kind of keep working with my regular source on those until I uh, until I've got them figured out a uh, few too many things on the same drawing board at the same time so um, but anyway thanks for joining me I appreciate anyone's help uh, I don't know if I'll be overly helpful uh, to anyone at this point in the game where I'm at uh, but I do appreciate anyone's um, observations from what they can uh, gather in this video. And uh, I will keep posting more images, video, and uh, updates about what I'm doing as I do it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.